Condor at center. Uh, Mo Bamba, seven foot ten wingspan. We know he can protect the rim. We know he can switch one through five. He's extremely strong. And it blocked by Bamba. He's very, very bright. Over the top, Mo Bamba. A lot of skill for a guy that size. Bamba finishes again. His ceiling is off the chart. Bamba is far and away the most physically intriguing prospect in this draft. 7-1, runs like a deer, outstanding in transition when fully motivated, and a 7'10 wingspan, 9'8 standing reach. Just some freakish finishes during his freshman season. He converted 74% of his shots at the rim in the half court, able to finish from all different vantage points, and has the agility to attack in a straight line. Long strides to the rim, really rare for a big his size. Also potential as a vertical spacer in the half court, roll threat, didn't have the best guards at Texas, so should shine even more playing the five with the space floor in the NBA. No prospect in this draft has more defensive upside than Mo Bamba. Not only does he have the 7'10 wingspan, but he can sit down in a stance, he can switch every ball screen, sliding with quicker guards and altering shots at the rim uses that ridiculous stride length to cover ground on closeouts and bother jump shooters, then can also stick with more perimeter-oriented bigs, sits down in a stance, slides step for step, moves his feet really well when he's locked in, then uses that seven foot 10 wingspan at the rim. He's not just long either, he has shot blocking instincts, he has awareness, here quick reaction time, quick off his feet, uses both hands to block the shot at the rim, and then good awareness, rotates with excellent timing, pins the ball against the glass, and really strong technique. Does a great job of getting skinny, using that left hand to block shots and avoid fouls. Then has the tools and length to become a plus post defender in time. He's a little bit light right now, but 9-8 standing reach, really tough to finish over. Elite finisher, big time shot blocker with 4.9 blocks per 40 minutes, and then also an outstanding rebounder, one of the best rebounders in this draft with 14 rebounds per 40 minutes, uses that tremendous length, soft hands, does a great job of high pointing the ball in traffic, crashing from the perimeter, able to get to rebounds. Other bigs simply don't have the length to track down, strong instincts, reads the ball really well off the rim, and a tip dunk threat every time down. He wasn't much of a scorer at Texas, but Bamba has the touch, range, and rotation to develop into a legitimate stretch five in the NBA. He's been working with Drew Hanlon, has tweaked his mechanics, and shoots a really easy ball. You can pick and pop him to space, great with his feet set. Also a threat in mid-post situations, loves to inside pivot, get to that high release, and rise up over smaller defenders. He's far from a go-to post scorer at this stage of his career, but Bamba has a strong foundation quick spins, finishes at the rim, does a great job of working along the baseline, just outstanding feet for a seven foot one player, then can also get to that left shoulder, high release point on his jump hook, soft touch. Bamba's inconsistent motor and lack of physicality shows up on both ends of the floor far too often. Wants to float and operate on the perimeter. Here gets ripped trying to show off his handles. He also settles for jump shot after jump shot. Now he has touch. He will be able to make NBA threes in time, but he lets his defender off the hook too often. Doesn't like physicality, doesn't want to play through contact. Here settles for the inside pivot jump shot that gets blocked. Now this possession is a perfect example of his lack of physicality, shying away from contact. He has a great opportunity for a high-low duck in here. Simply stands, watches, doesn't put Killian Tilly through the rim, who isn't exactly the most physical defender, then unable to finish through contact, knocked off his spots, high center of gravity, low percentage shot. Bamba also has a tendency to bring the ball down, expose it in traffic, just doesn't play great in a crowd at this stage of his development. Then Bamba's defensive motor runs really hot and cold. Here trots back on defense, not exactly sprinting to get ahead of the ball. Shows almost zero effort to keep Trey Young in front. 
waltzes to the rim for an open layup, then doesn't offer much resistance as a post defender. Here, low man wins, Marvin Bagley, deep seal, easy dunk. Now he's gotten stronger since the end of the season, but he's still really light in the lower body, somewhat narrow hips, and just doesn't play with a ton of toughness as a post defender. Very much still learning the ins and outs of defending on the perimeter. Here doesn't recover with active hands, completely loses the roll man to the rim, gives up an open layup. On this possession, doesn't stay with the ball nearly long enough, allows the guard to get downhill and get right to the front of the rim. Certainly has lapses on the defensive end, especially when guarding stretch bigs. Here relaxed in a stance, completely loses Mo Wagner who spaces out to the corner and drills a wide open three. Can get tougher on the defensive glass as well. Here gives up inside position to Justin Tillman who finishes the end one. Although fairly skilled, Bamba finished his freshman season with only 15 assists in 30 games to 46 turnovers. Here misses the cross court feed to Eric Davis for the open three, instead forces up a double team jump hook. Can be a bit lackadaisical with the ball as well. Here inside pivots before the guard clears, gets the ball poked away, easy turnover. Awareness not great in the post, pounds the ball, pounds the ball, doesn't feel where that dig man is coming from, unable to make the simple kick out pass. Also needs to become more reliable over either shoulder. Shows you flashes of that left shoulder right hand jump hook, but really inconsistent with his touch. Same over that right shoulder, just doesn't have great command at this stage of his development. Jonathan Gavoni of DraftExpress.com. We're here in Colorado Springs at the USA Basketball Mini Camp with Mohamed Bamba. It's Mo Bamba here with Draft Express, and I'm here with Chuck O'Bannon and uh, DeAndre Eden. We're really excited about welcoming Mohamed Bamba to our program. Bamba pins it against the backboard. Go, go, gadget arms. Bamba fight for the rebound and the flush. There's no prospect in the 2018 draft more intriguing than Mo Bamba. At 7-1 with a 7-10 wingspan and the feet of a wing, Bamba switches screens, protects the rim, vacuums rebounds, catches lobs, and can shoot threes. From a tools and talent perspective, he's a number one caliber prospect. But as tantalizing as he is, Bamba is also one of the draft's more frustrating prospects. His up and down motor and lack of physicality led to some underwhelming moments at Texas. How reliable will he be on a nightly basis in the NBA? Will he accept a role as a rim runner, diver, lob catcher, defender, or be more focused on developing into a stretch five? The situation he's drafted into should go a long way in determining if the ultra-talented seven-footer is able to maximize his sky-high potential. So recently I actually spent a week with uh, JoJo, Joel and Dean, and uh, he's a guy that I really want to play against. The NBA is looking for guys who can really, you know, stretch the floor out at, at, at the five, but also be elite rim protectors and can guard one through five positions. Mm -hmm. And that's something that I can do. 